From the Tribune News Network, this is News Break. I'm Kirk Smith. Friday's top story still analyzing the budget presented in the House this week by Finance Minister Prime Minister Minnis. The deficit will be close to a billion dollars for the upcoming fiscal year, and the national debt projected to be around $10 billion at the end of that period. State Minister for Finance Kwesi Thompson in a post-budget presentation news conference yesterday he says, yes, uh, the debt projections is what he called the elephant in the room. Financial Secretary Marlon Johnson says it's temporary, a cause for concern, but not a cause for alarm. There's some good news for persons who have lost their jobs due to the corona pandemic who rely on government assistance. We anticipate that uh, up until September uh, that we will uh, continue those uh, existing unemployment benefits. State Minister for Finance, Senator Thompson, making that statement during yesterday's news conference. The debate on the budget begins next week in the House. A jump in the confirmed coronavirus cases. The Wednesday numbers have been released by the Ministry of Health. They show 62 confirmed cases split between the capital, Grand Bahama, and Cat Island. And that's up from the 25 reported on Tuesday. 45 of those cases in the capital, 16 in Grand Bahama, one in Cat Island. 47 persons remain in hospital four of them in the intensive care unit. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. There are more corona deaths, three more. A woman and a man from the Capitol and a woman from Andros, the latest victims, taking the overall death toll to 229 now. Cat Island and parts of Andros and the Berry Islands remain in lockdown as health officials try to control the recent outbreaks on those islands. They're reporting that residents in the affected areas are cooperating and there are no issues. The Marco Alert System is stepped closer to reality. The Ministry of National Security signing a contract with a technology company related to that system. The Judicial and Legal Services Commission has announced the appointment of a number of new judges for both the Supreme and Magistrates Courts, some of them effective the end of this month. A chance to say a final farewell to former MP Sir Charles Carter. His body will lie in state at the House of Assembly today until 3 p.m. The former broadcaster died earlier this month at the age of 78. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a service of insurance management. No systems in the area. Mostly sunny today, highs in the mid-80s, 84 at Freeport, 84 in the capital, 85 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories, winds generally 10 to 15 knots, the seas 2 to 4 feet. Next tide is a high around 10 this morning, next low about 4 this afternoon. Turning partly cloudy tonight, lows from the mid to upper 70s. If you need additional weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, call insurance management. We're approaching the hurricane season. Insurance management urges you to complete your preparations early and ensure that your home and contents coverage is up to date. Call them today. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than insurance management. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. Let's get the weekend started. The weekend, published every Friday in the Tribune, has the hottest news in fashion, music tips, the who's who on the red carpet, your must-try restaurants and hotspots, and of course, what to wear when you step out. Catch up on the latest film reviews or be thrilled with exciting tales from Bahamian history. There's only one place to find everything you need to plan your perfect weekend in Friday's Tribune. Pick up your copy of the weekend every Friday. The Tribune, the people's paper, biggest and best. Friday's World News headlines, the Middle East ceasefire continues to hold and diplomatic efforts continue to make sure it stays. Not while a United Nations official says the Israeli airstrikes into Gaza recently during that conflict may be war crimes. The U.S. and China added over a decision made by President Biden ordering an intel probe of the origin of the coronavirus. China doesn't like that. Thousands of persons in the Congo forced to flee their homes because of fears of another volcano eruption. Tribune's gas tracker prices heading into the weekend, Shell 491, SO 494, Rubus $4.89 per gallon in the capital. Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports section. Updates in the Tribune Sports on DeAndre Ayton in the NBA. They're in the playoffs. The Suns now behind in the series with the Lakers after a loss last night. 
find out about Aiden's impact in that. Updates on Bria Sands and another Bahamian gets a coaching job in the U.S. Find out who that is. Latest on Major League Baseball, a report on Anthony Seymour. Jazz still not back in the Marlins lineup with that ankle issue. And read about the status of the Bahamas Bowl. That's the college football game that is played here, but it was canceled last year. For all of your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online all day at Tribune242.com. 